Hey guys, my name is Dr. Josh Jagoda. Today we're going to talk a little bit about general health of your joints and how to keep them healthy throughout time because we know research-wise that one of the best ways to keep our joints moving uh, and functioning properly is to actually move them. And our movement helps drive blood flow and helps secrete with the synovial fluid and it helps the joints and the cartilage to maintain their integrity. So what we want to do is move them move them often, move them frequently, and go through full ranges of motion from time to time, unloaded, okay? And when I say unloaded, I really just mean that we are not weight bearing and we're not adding uh, a weight over our head. So sometimes going through these ranges of motion uh, frequently, once a week or something like that, or even you know having a daily routine where you do maybe your neck and upper body one time, your lower body another time, uh, that's where you'll end up getting some of this benefit. So the way we can go ahead and do that is called CARS, and that's called controlled articular rotations, meaning we're taking the articular surface or the, the joint surface and we're doing rotational type of movements, so like circular movements every direction so a lot of people will go like this right but if you notice that this is a very short range of motion it's really fast it's not as controlled and it's yes does it give us benefit absolutely but it's not that controlled and it's not in its full range of motion so what we can do is we can go through a full range of motion nice and slow you know we can go forward we can go back we can take some time to warm up we can go swinging back and forth all the way back, all the way up. And if you look, how slow. Yes, I'm moving my torso a little bit. I'm moving my arm a bit. But I'm really just bringing my body through a slow range of motion. You can switch arms. We can switch going backwards and forwards. But a lot of people will start speeding up like this. They'll start slow and they'll start going faster and doing smaller ranges of motion. I'd rather you guys just go small, or sorry, just go slow within a larger range of motion, if you can, and go through there. So that's an uh, example real quickly of our, um, of our shoulder, but what we can do is we can do the neck. You know, a lot of people will roll their necks. So we can go side to side, can do our head, make it nice and slow. And we can do our elbows, just stuff like this, you know, just getting full range of motion. It's really, really therapeutic for our body. Again, it's called controlled articular rotations. If you guys really just need to get some range of motion in, you need to help heal an injury, or you just wanna stay pain free, you can do this for almost any single joint. Uh, sometimes you have to do a little more passively. Maybe maybe you have to like roll your own hand if it's really stiff or you, you know you you don't have the control of it. But either way, we want to go through a controlled range of motion and go through that full range of motion as best they can. Because again, research wise, guys, if you really want to maintain the health of that joint, you need to go through full ranges of motion often, and sometimes you have to do it unloaded without weight. All right, guys. So. That's called CARS, that's called controlled articular rotations. You can apply that to almost every joint of your body, but this is just a concept. So now that you know the concept, you can apply the technique everywhere in your body. All right guys, I'm Dr. Josh Jagoda. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.